Hi, I'm Andrew Connell. In previous videos, I've shown you how to go about associating a, your Azure AD tenant that you've received from your Integration Sandbox account for a partner center or your production partner center uh, account. Either way, you got an Azure AD tenant and you needed to associate it with an existing Azure subscription in order to be able to administer it. In another video, I showed you how to go about creating applications and how to onboard them with Azure AD, both a web application that had app-only permissions and a native application that you would use for something uh, such as creating a, um, a console application. Now what I want to show you is how to go about associating uh, and configuring the sample console application that Microsoft's Partner Center provides for demonstrations. If I come over here to GitHub, if I go to github.com slash partner center samples, I will find a sample here called Partner Center SDK Samples. This entire sample, I can download it as a zip and I can go through it, open it up in Visual Studio. I've already done that. So if I come over here to Visual Studio, this is the application from GitHub. Now I don't need to make any code changes to it, but what I do need to do in order to set up the authentication is open up the app config. Now let's go ahead and let's bump this font up a little bit, make it a little bit easier to see. And we'll just hide this off to the side a little bit more. Now, what we need to do is we need to go about configuring some information here. The parts that you need to worry about configuring really boil down to the user authentication section and the app authentication section. These two things you're gonna use is the information you gathered when you were creating your application from Azure AD. If you don't have the information we're gonna go through, refer to the previous video uh, that I made for this on this subject. Now, I'm gonna come over here and open up this text file, which is my little cheat file that we created in the previous video. And it's got all the details about the apps and my Azure AD tenant. The first one I see here is my Azure AD tenant details. I have a tenant ID, but it also goes by a bunch of other things here. This ID right here is the GUID version or the unique ID of the tenant. It also has a default domain associated with it. Both of these values are completely unique. I'm gonna to choose to use this GUID right here. I'm gonna copy this guy out and I'm gonna find under app authentication, the domain. This is the name of the directory. This could be this GUID, or I could have used this domain right here. Either way would have worked. The next thing I need to do is I wanna update the app only permissions. permissions. That's coming from the, the uh, web app. I'm gonna grab the ID of the application. I'm gonna copy that out. And I'm gonna paste it under the app authentication section and the app ID section. It's also known as the client ID. Then to get the secret, I'm gonna go back to my notepad and I'm gonna grab that secret for the client secret that I had obtained earlier. Now, I wanna associate the user authentication section. Now this way I'm not logging in as an application. Down here, the application is using the ID and the secret as the username and password for an application. But up here, I wanna log in as an individual person and have an application act on my behalf. So the way I'm gonna do that is come over here to this app ID and I need to update his app ID. It is not the same value as the web app. That is a totally different application we created. In this case here, I'm gonna use the ID of my native app that I created. So I'm gonna copy this and paste it in right here. I also need to grab the username and password of a user that has access to use this application and it has access to Partner Center. I know that that's my Partner Center account, so I'm going to come back over here and I use a little tool here to keep track of all my uh, usernames and passwords. And I know that this account right here is going to work. So I'll take them and I'll pass in admin at my tenant ID. Notice that tenant ID right there, that's the same value that's in this domain, that user's in that domain of that tenant. Let me grab his password. Now I'm gonna go ahead and save my changes and let's see if we can get this application to work. I'm gonna click on start. The application's gonna fire up the console app or Visual Studio is gonna compile it and fire up the console application. Let me resize this a bit to make it easier to see. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first show that the authentication works. I'm gonna hit one and it's going to, I'm going to get a list of all of my customers. So you see here I have get page customers. I'm going to hit three. And what we're going to see is the application is first going to authenticate. 
It's going to obtain an access token and then use that token to query the uh, Partner Center API to get a list of customers. And you can see here, there's a list of one of my customers right there, Wingtip Toys 05. So this video has demonstrated how to configure the sample SDK console application that Microsoft's Partner Center provides uh, to get the to show the APIs working.